जय हिंद टू ऑल द फ्यूचर ऑफिसर्स टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिफेंस नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग इंडियन नेवी सो स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इंडियन नेवी इज द सेवेंथ लार्जेस्ट नेवी इन द वर्ल्ड इंडियन नेवी हैज सिक्सटी सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू एक्टिव पर्सनल्स विच मीन्स दे आर करेंटली सर्विंग फुल टाइम एंड फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रिजर्व पर्सनल्स इन द सर्विस विच मीन्स सम आर रिटायर्ड एंड फिट फॉर द सर्विस बट अदर दैन दैट देर आर मैनी पर्सनस हुव डन दी एन सी सी दे आर दे वर इन दी नेवी विंग सो ऑल दीज आर दी रिजर्व पर्सनल्स दे कैन बी कॉल्ड वेन एवर देर नीड इज देयर बट दे आर नॉट फुली इन दी सर्विस ओके इंडियन नेवी ट्रेस इट्स इट्स ओरिजिन बैक टू दी ईस्ट कंपनीज मरीन which was founded in 1612 to protect british merchants shipping in the region so you all know that around 1600 britishers uh, east india british east india company started coming to india so in 1612 they had the threats of portuguese which had already came to india so because of that they had to maintain fleets to fight the navy warfare and because of which major trace of indian navy is that it was founded in 1612 to protect the british merchant shipping in the regions it was founded by britishers okay in 1793 the british east india company established its rule over eastern part of indian subcontinent that is bengal okay so you we know that uh, around uh, 1757 uh, battle of uh, plassey was fought 1764 battle of baksar was fought so around 1793 Fully control of Bengal province was under the Britishers, but until 1830, the colonial navy, uh, but not until 1830 that the colonial navy titled as His Majesty's Indian Navy. So by the 1830, this British East India's Company Navy was named as His Majesty's Indian Navy, and then after 1830, this His Majesty's Indian Navy. was again renamed in 1934 as Royal Indian Navy and then when India's uh, constitution was adopted in 1950 India became a republic country and thus royal was removed and Indian Navy it was remained and since then Indian Navy is there it has contributed in many operations so what is the major role of Indian Navy so anything related to the defense of the country in terms of the ocean warfare so navy's role is there other than that disaster management if any disaster is there then rescue operations is conducted by indian navy with the uh, contribution or alliance with the coast guards okay now one thing you might uh, have doubt that is uh, why uh, indian coast guards are also there and indian navy is also there both uh, both are there to protect the oceans but the major difference is that indian coast guard generally keep sh uh, uh, sure that the uh, piracy piracies are not uh, done in the uh, pirates are not there in the uh, oceans other than that smuggling is not done in the ocean area this is the major role of indian coast guard other than that indian coast guard also conducts the rescue operations but indian navy is part of armed forces which means indian army navy and air force their major role is to fight the enemy during the wars and other operations conduct the other operations with the enemy so indian navy is generally there to fight the war okay so motto of indian navy is sum no varuna which means be auspicious on to us o varuna varuna what i have studied about varuna is that he was god of water also okay so indian navy day is celebrated on 4th december why 4th december because on 4th december operation trident was launched in uh, during uh, december only the uh, 1971 india pakistan war was going on where bangladesh was formed so in uh, 4th december um, operation trident was launched by indian navy and our ships attacked and heavily damaged the karachi ports so that the uh, backups cannot be sent to the eastern pakistan which is now bangladesh okay so president is supreme commander of indian army navy and air force Indian Navy is headed by Chief of Naval Staff who is a four star officer and is known as the rank of admiral admiral has the equivalent rank of general in Indian army i have made the video of equivalent ranks so if you have any doubt you can refer to that video so uh, commander in chief of indian navy is president current president of our country in 2023 is dropdri murmuru ma'am chief of defense staff cds 
we all know that he is the combined head of indian army navy and air force okay so currently uh, in 2023 it is general anil chauhan sir pvsm uysm avsm sm vsm which means param vishesh seva medal uttam yudh seva medal ati vishesh seva medal seva medal vishesh seva medal i will make a separate video on it so do not worry okay chief of naval staff okay so chief of naval staff is the uh, rank of admiral like general in army admiral in the navy so current admiral r hari kumar sir is there vice admiral or the vice chief of naval staff of our current indian navy is sanjay jaljit singh sir okay so commands of indian army there are uh, seven command uh, commands of indian navy sorry there are seven commands of indian army six operational one training in indian navy there are two operational commands and one training command okay so refer to this map in mumbai it is western naval command in vishakhapatnam it is eastern naval command and in the kochi in the kerala it is southern naval command so generally mumbai and vishakhapatnam which is eastern and western naval commands are the operational commands and kochi which is the southern naval command it is the training command okay so all three commands are headed by an officer of the rank of vice admiral designated as the flag officer commander in chief so i told you that commands of uh, in the previous video commands of indian army uh, it is headed by a three star officer which is lieutenant general so equivalent rank of lieutenant general in indian navy is uh, vice admiral so vice admiral generally heads this commands okay now the western and eastern naval commands are operational commands and exercise control over operations in arabian sea and bay of bengal respectively so mumbai you can see it is in the western part so it uh, controls uh, the operations in arabian sea vishakhapatnam it is uh, in the eastern part so it controls the operation in bay of bengal region okay so now we will be studying about the structure of indian navy so now in the structure of indian navy so chief of naval staff who is the rank of admiral exercises the operational ad as well as administration control of indian navy he sits in the headquarters which are present in ministry of defense office located in new delhi and uh, admiral is assisted by vice admiral who you can also call vice chief of navy staff okay so indian navy has its operational and training bases and these bases are intended for various purposes so indian navy you all know that there are operational bases where the uh, from where the operations are conducted other than that training bases where the training of the candidates and other trainings of the soldiers is conducted okay so all these things uh, uh, there is there are different roles of indian navy what are these various purposes or roles such as logistic and maintenance support okay ammunition support air stations hospitals marcos bases marcos are special forces of navy coastal defenses missile defense submarines and missile boat bases forward operating base bases etc the cutting these all things are the uh, responsibilities of indian navy which co comes under their operational and training bases okay now the cutting edge of indian navy are its two fleets namely the western fleet and eastern fleet what is western fleet western fleet is present in western naval command comes under the western naval command eastern naval command uh, eastern fleet comes under it okay it is as simple as it beside these fleets there is flotilla that provides a local naval defense in their respective region so wherever the navy, navy is there is a particular uh, fleet which is known as flotilla so wherever these ships are of our navy is there that flotilla pro uh, provides the defense of these ships okay uh, navy ships are also based at the other ports along the east and west coast of india and the island territories so you all know that in anbar and nicobar okay then lakshadweep so all these islands maldives also so all these uh, islands are there where indian navy is present okay so if any problem is there then quickly the operations can be done from wherever their respective places they are okay so this uh, west coast of india island territory thus ensuring continued naval presence in the area of our national interest squadrons of submarines and various type of aircrafts is also operated by indian navy you all know that indian navy have submarines and 
also various type of aircrafts also don't doubt it that aircrafts are only with uh, indian air force indian navy also have the aircrafts which are on the uh, our aircraft carriers other than that indian army has also uh, the aircraft uh, different fighter fighting aircrafts okay so don't doubt it that aircrafts are only with indian air force so west coast of india island is a tip aircraft operated by indian navy for a number of naval air stations further there are various naval officers in charge under each command responsible for the local naval defense of ports under their respective ju jurisdiction so these are the commands there are three commands but there are different ports also of the navy okay so india is a very large long uh, maritime border okay so there are different naval officers in charge which uh, are which comes under the commands of indian navy which are responsible for the local naval defense of these ports okay so now we will study of chief of defense staff four star general senior to all the three service chiefs cds is a single point of contact for advice on all military matters by government in order to improve continuity and promote jointness in planning operations and modernization of the three armed forces the decision was taken after the kargil conflict of creating the appointment of chief of defense staff why there was a need of chief of defense staff generally it was like that that indian army have their different operations their different intels indian navy indian air force all have their different intels different uh, operational uh, tactics so all so to combinedly work together okay so to combinedly work together the post of chief of defense staff was created he has the information or the intel of combined all the three services and he convince or he then passes on this information to prime minister or president and vice versa also if there is any suggestions from president or pm then he convinces or he confirms or he passes on the information and consult with the three service chiefs cds in charge of tri service command at the andaman and nicobar island and strategic command a uh, command in charge of nuclear weapons along with the upcoming cyber and space command so generally tri service command the only tri service command is of india is in the andaman and nicobar island what does it means all the army navy and air force all three are together in andaman and nicobar so that they work together to fight different conflicts other than that india also have one strategic nuclear command nuclear weapon command where are nuclear weapons are located but that information or the location of that nuclear command is unknown okay government has not revealed it due to the security purpose okay so and other than that our upcoming cyber and space commands are also coming so cds is the head of these all commands so current cds of our country i have told you he is the uh, lieutenant general anil chauhan retired but now as he has become cds so he is general anil chauhan okay so in our this was all about our today's video from next our next video we will start to study about our aircraft carriers of indian navy and furthermore information thank you